What's going on guys, Mountaineer Mitch here bringing you a subject about pro wrestling. More in general, Sting versus The Undertaker. A lot of speculation coming into this year, knowing that Sting may sign a WWE contract, was having Sting versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. Now, being that said, now in April, a month after WrestleMania, when The Undertaker streak's gone, and knowing that Sting is definitely in the WWE, watching the documentaries about The Ultimate Warrior, and then seeing Sting on a WWE produ producted, produced show, he, he is there. Now, what WWE does with him is another story. I don't know if they're going to keep him behind the scenes, let him work on the network, put him on network things to try to push WCW Monday Night Wars, WCW, WWE Monday Night Wars, and anything like that. But I really, if they put him in a match, of course it should be with The Undertaker. Maybe Triple H. Um, Triple H is a good worker. I mean, Undertaker is obviously a good worker. He wouldn't be there for longer than he, he longer than I've been alive doing wrestling if it wasn't for you know him being such so good. But to me, I don't really want to see it. Uh, to me, Undertaker's last match when he lost the streak against Brock Lesnar. I know that, I guess you really don't want that to be his last match because the last memory of somebody is usually their last. And the Undertaker did not look good. Now, uh, what I heard was Sting, I think, when he fought Magnus at a TNA interview. Like I said, I don't, I didn't watch TNA. I don't really keep up much with that. Um... He didn't look very good either. He looked about as good as The Undertaker did against Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar pretty much demolished The Undertaker. I think uh, he had a concussion at the end of... Um, you know, he did have a concussion at the end of his match. But um, I don't really want to see it. Um, and if I do, it should be like a retirement match, which in my honest opinion, both of them should be retired and go into the Hall of Fame. Sting going to the Hall of Fame is another topic. But, unless it's like a headline the Hall of Fame match, which would be like something totally different and pretty cool. But, um, so I say put him in the Hall of Fame this coming year. You know, there's no time limit in it like there is football, and I think there's baseball, maybe even basketball time limit of how long it takes for you to get in the Hall of Fame. I don't think there's a time limit if there is. Let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know in the comment section what what do you think they should do with Sting? Do you want to see him wrestle another match? Do you not care if you ever see Sting again? What about The Undertaker? Do you want to see him have one more go at it? Make him go out on top? I think if they were going to do that, I think they should have left the streak intact. There's other reasons they shouldn't have done that. They should have ended the streak. Maybe not this year, in my opinion, but... I mean, it is what it is, and... We're watching the movie that it is now, so I mean, Sting, Undertaker, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. That's really about it. Mountain Air Mitch signing out. Peace.